give you a clear picture of what's happening inside the wall. Most important, never drill into a wall with existing wiring or plumbing. For this job, we are using a 9 16 by 54 inch auger style cable bit. It has ultra sharp threads which provide better pulling power and faster drilling speeds. We also need an extension. This 3 16 by 36 inch extension, when combined with our drill bit, will give us enough length to get through to the attic. The first step is to measure the distance from your opening to the ceiling. Measure from the top of the wall down to the opening you will be pulling the wire through so you know when you will be clearing the top plate. Mark your drill bit with a piece of tape at the place where you should be breaking through into the attic. This will keep you from drilling through the roof or will let you know if you have hit a rafter or other obstruction. And rafters are not always directly above the wall studs. If this is an insulated wall, make a cut in the insulation at your opening and make sure you get the drill bit completely through the insulation and into the back corner before starting your power drill. Keep in mind that these bits are not indestructible, so try and keep your power drill as close to the floor as possible. This will keep the bit from arching too much. Now it's time to start drilling. Guide your drill bit into the wall and aim it into a back corner where the stud meets the wall. Use the walking ability of the drill bit to walk it up the corner by giving it short bursts of rotation with your power drill. Drilling in a corner will allow you to easily locate the hole with your fish rods and will minimize problems with encountering insulation. Stop when you meet the fire block. Push the exposed part of the shank towards the corner. This will straighten out the angle of the drill and keep the drill from veering off. Adjust the speed of your power drill. The rule of thumb is that the larger the drill bit diameter, the slower the RPM, and the smaller the drill bit, the faster the RPM. Now just keep walking the bit up until you reach the top plate. When you reach the top plate, always remember that you will be drilling through four plus inches, so you should stop and reverse the rotation of your drill a few times while drilling to clear chips. Clearing chips at any sign of binding, or whenever you are drilling through more than two inches, will keep your drill bit from snapping and being lost in the wall. Reversing the rotation of your drill will make it easy to pull back out. Congratulations, you are through to the attic. Now we will fish the wire through the hole. We'll be using the Eagle Tool Fiberglass Fish Rod Kit and the lighted bull nose tip. If you are in a dark place, this lighted bull nose tip will be a great help. We are using two fish rods connected to accommodate the distance to the attic. Thread a good straight line through the tip and make sure you use a long enough string to reach from your opening to wherever you want to end up. Run the fish rod and string line up through the hole in the fire block. And then through the hole to the attic. Now you will need to go to the attic. Using the light to guide you in the attic, snag the line with a hook tip mounted on another fish rod. Pull the line towards you.
Securely attach your wire or cable to the string at either end of the opening or in the attic. With the helper feeding the wire or cable at one end, pull the string from the other end. And there you have it. Eagle Tools innovative products make running wires through existing walls a quick and easy job.